it seems from the last video that auto torque boost means reduction of voltage over the entire course of frequency but that's not the case to explain further we remember that in torque boost video in basic parameter section when we increase the torque it meant increase in voltage but what happens in auto torque boost is automatically adjustment of torque which in other words mean automatically adjustment of voltage level but in our case in the previous video during the practical the motor was without any load so the voltage remained less however in case if the motor is loaded then the voltage level will change furthermore we need to keep in mind that auto torque boost depends on the gain which means that VFT will assess the required torque and then it will change the voltage level so we have example of manual torque boost here on the left side we see that in case if the ramp is without torque boost it will be as shown normal V over F but in case we set the torque percentage then the V over F will slightly change as seen on the graph the voltage level will be higher at the starting and as frequency increases the voltage level will get closer to the normal V over F and just know one thing that manual torque boost is best when the motor might have difficulty in the startup so they require some extra push which they can get from the use of manual torque boost now we see at the right side auto torque boost similar to manual torque boost it can have one pattern or it could be lower than the normal v over f or at any frequency point it can deviate to readjust the voltage level as per the torque requirement or it could be as shown which is greater than the normal v over f and it keeps that way but all these patterns depend on the gain so we are clear here that auto torque boost works by adjusting the voltage depending on the amount of gain now we need to know its application so the question is where we can use auto torque boost but before we discuss the usage we need to know where we cannot use the auto torque boost so in case the application is open loop that means there is no feedback from the shaft of the motor so we have first of all elevator and crane in case we use auto torque boost for this application the precision will be bad these are just typical example where auto torque boost is not supposed to be used now we will see the area where the auto torque boost can be used so we have mixture application we have extruder application we have conveyor application so all these three mentioned applications are in case of open loop however if there is an encoder feedback that will make the drive closed loop then auto torque boost is completely fine so here we will summarize auto torque boost by comparison with manual torque boost so first point is manual torque boost is effective at the startup so in case the shaft is unable to make movement at the startup or in other words at lower frequencies then manual torque boost adjustment will help where in auto torque boost the torque can be adjusted at any frequency whether it is lower frequency or it's in the middle or at higher frequencies next point is in manual torque boost the V over F graph will remain fixed but in auto torque boost voltage will adjust depending on the load condition or we can say depending on the gain as we have seen in the graphs before lastly v over f is good in terms of precision let's say we are using elevator application in case it is open loop that means there is no feedback 